Good morning, everyone. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very happy to be back at Asia Tech Singapore or ATX uh, SG, where some of the best from technology, business, and policy come together to shape the future of our digital economies. The rapid developments in AI, especially in generative AI, have opened up immense potential, but also surfaced urgent, important questions on how we will impact jobs, reshape our economies, and influence our societies. Around the world, people are asking what AI means for their livelihoods and their future. Governments and businesses are racing to unlock AI's potential, while also managing risk and guiding its impact in a direction that benefits all. Singapore is taking deliberate steps, not just to keep pace, but to shape how AI is used to strengthen our economy, build resilience, and uplift our people. What we choose to do matters, because it will shape our long-term competitiveness and the kind of digital future we pass on to our next generation. As a small, connected nation, we also want to contribute to a global AI ecosystem in support of open digital economies, one that is trusted, inclusive, and interoperable, building on our strong digital foundation and culture of trust. We are therefore building a home where AI can thrive, not just for ourselves, but as a trusted node in a wider international community. To realize this, we need to work out what trust looks like in practice so that it can be scaled with greater confidence. That is why the AI Verify Foundation and IMDA launched the Global AI Assurance Pilot earlier this year. The initiative pairs businesses bringing real-world Gen AI cases, use cases with specialist AI testers so that they can move beyond theoretical frameworks and see how their Gen AI applications perform under practical conditions. In just a few months, more than 30 companies across eight jurisdictions and 10 sectors, including HR, healthcare, and finance, have participated in this initiative. This shows that businesses want to get Gen AI adoption right, because trust is also a business risk. When stakeholders like customers hesitate, competitiveness suffers. With the Global AI Assurance Pilot now concluded, we have put together a report that distills practical lessons from these collaborations, each one helping us understand what businesses really need to build and use Gen AI with confidence. One, for example, risk are context-specific. Your risk depends on your use case. The most effective testing starts with a clear understanding of what is relevant to your use case as well as what is not. Second, useful test data rarely comes ready-made. Most businesses do not have the perfect data set sitting on their shelf. Generating realistic and edge case test scenarios requires thoughtful effort from us with support from machines. Three, we have to go beyond outputs. Sometimes the issue lies deeper in the pipeline. Testing what happens inside the system can offer more useful insights and greater assurance. And fourth, large language models or LLMs can help with evaluation, but only with care. They can be fast and scalable, but still require thoughtful design, calibration, and human oversight. In some cases, simpler method works just as well. These are not just technical observations. They reflect where collaboration meets practice and where insights translate into action. For those key to draw on these lessons for your own interests, whether you're applying Gen AI in a business setting, building testing tools, or shaping policies, the report is available from today as a resource from for everyone. It captures the insights in greater detail and offers practical takeaways for those looking to move beyond principles to implementation. And building on the Global AI Assurance Pilot, we are making it easier for businesses to take action on their own terms, at their own pace, without having to start from scratch. This will help us nurture an AI ecosystem where businesses are supported, empowered, and become part of a broader culture of trust. As a next step, we have developed the Testing Starter Kit for Gen AI applications 
which will be released to the public for comments today. The starter kit is a set of voluntary guidelines that in essence lowers the barriers for businesses that want to adopt GenAI responsibly but may not know where to start. It draws on the insights from a global AI assurance pilot, tapping on the experience of practitioners to ensure that guidance is practical and useful. It aims to do two things. First, it pulls together emerging best practices and methodologies for testing Gen AI applications so that businesses can understand what good testing looks like. Second, it offers practical guidance on how to go about it, when to test, what to test, and how to test. To ensure that the guidance is actionable, the starter kit will be complemented by testing tools that businesses and developers can use and run assessments on their own. As a start, seven baseline tests from the starter kit are made available on Project Moonshot, enabling businesses to easily integrate responsible AI practices into their operations. We will progressively make more tests available through Project Moonshot. The starter kit is also designed to evolve as technologies shift. New risks might emerge, and use cases will go, grow more complex. So whether you are a startup piloting a chatbot or a large enterprise deploying AI applications at scale, the aim is to make responsible innovation more accessible and achievable. This creates a positive feedback loop between practice, tools, and policy that keeps government, governance agile, grounded, and innovation friendly. More importantly, it allows businesses to take the lead in building trusted Gen AI, backed by shared standards, open frameworks, and a community committed to safe and responsible innovation. Together, the Global AI Assurance Pilot helps us learn. The starter kit enables more to apply, and Project Moonshot provides the means to scale. But these enablers alone do not make a thriving AI ecosystem. To unlock the benefits of AI in full, we need to empower people too, from everyday users who interact with AI to em our employees who work alongside it. And leaders, like many of you here, can make decisions how it is used. Just as we invest in a technical side, we must also invest in human capacity. This means creating space for people to learn, adapt, and engage so that AI is not something done to them, but something they can shape, understand, and benefit from. I'm pleased to share that the AI Singapore, AISG, and the United Nations Development Programme, or UNDP, will be signing a memorandum of understanding to close the AI literacy divide and transform communities in developing countries. This will extend AISG's successful AI for Good program launched last year in 2024 to bolster national AI capabilities from Asia to an international scale in support of United Nations Sustainability Development Goal number four. The aim is to enable individuals, organizations, and businesses to better understand the opportunities, risk, and ethical dimensions of AI. We will co-develop resources to teach AI with educators and reach underrepresented groups through targeted outreach so that no one is left behind as we advance together as a global community. AISG and UNDP will explore initial AI for good pilots in Southeast Asia, the Caribbean, and the Pacific Islands so that we can support more inclusive participation in AI-driven growth together. This MOU represents a shared commitment to make AI work for everyone, not just where it can be developed and advanced, but where it could be needed most. In many contexts, the prom promise of AI is harder to realize, shaped by differences in access, infrastructure, or readiness. Through this partnership, we seek to close these gaps and open up opportunities for more to participate confidently in digital economies starting here in Singapore and extending to a region and beyond. This effort reflects the same ethos that has guided our broader efforts to nurture an AI ecosystem that delivers impact where it matters most. 
So as we look ahead, we must remember that meaningful progress in AI is not just about skill or speed, but how well we align it with the needs of our people, our businesses, and our communities. Singapore will continue to partner across sectors and borders because we believe that a trusted, inclusive, and useful future for AI must be built together. And we invite partners who share this vision to work with us so that together we can build this home for AI to become a force for good. Thank you very much.